What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to another video. Silly season has begun, the first domino has fallen, Brad Keselowski has re-signed and has signed a contract extension with Team Penske. We were not given the amount of years or how long he is re-signed with Team Penske, but we do know for sure that Brad Keselowski will be returning to Team Penske at least for 2021 and probably at least 2022. I think it's probably going to be a two-year deal, to be honest with you, because they're not going to be giving him like a four- or five-year deal, but probably at least a two-year deal for Brad Keselowski. Here's what Roger Penske said about Brad Keselowski returning to Team Penske. We are pleased that Brad will continue to be part of our organization. Brad not only demonstrates talent and skill and talent on the track, but his leadership away from it and his dedication to our partners have had a huge impact in making our organization one of the best in NASCAR. I am proud that we will be able to keep the continuity we have with Brad, Ryan, and Joey and look forward to competing for more wins and championships together. Originally for myself, I had Brad Keselowski going over to the 48 organization because of the tension that has been going on with uh, him and Joey Logano and the, the fact that they kind of gave Brad Keselowski, at the time we thought, the worst of the crew chiefs. Jerry Bowen's honestly a great crew chief, but we thought that Brad Keselowski was becoming the third driver at the organization. Now this pretty much, but Jeremy Bowen's my opinion, he's been doing a really good job. And this confirms everything I thought. And over time, I have said, well, I haven't said it, but over time, over the last few months especially, I said, Brad Zoski's at this point is probably going to be remaining at the two organization. I wasn't seeing him remain at 40 because we've been hearing rumors and rumblings going around that they were kind of looking for a younger driver. So now it becomes the question about, with this move happening, who is actually going to go to the 48? Because now so with this happening, silly season is about to get really shaken up. Because there's a lot of drivers I've been hearing that could possibly be replacing him in the 48. Here are the drivers I've been hearing. Eric Jones. Eric Jones is currently in a contract year with Joe Gibbs Racing. And there's also been rumblings going around that Levine Family Racing could shut down at the end of this year. Most likely, Eric Jones is probably going to be out of the ride regardless if he makes playoffs or not. He will definitely for, for sure be out of, the, out of the car at the end of the year. If Eric Jones does not make the playoffs, Chris Bell, I still think, is probably going to end up going to the 20 if Levine Family Racing shuts down. If that isn't the case, so if Levine does stay around, which that's probably not going to happen, if it does happen, I think Eric Jones might likely stay, but it's probably going to be looking for another ride. Because Eric Jones has not really done that much. Well, he's done some stuff, but he's just that team is always hovering around the playoff cutoffs. And if you're in a Joe Gibbs car, you should be making the playoffs. And if you don't make it, that's not a good look for you. I think that Eric Jones is probably not going to 48. Other drivers I've been hearing, Matt Benedetto. With the rumors of Brad, with this being confirmed that Brad Kozlowski is going to be re-signing uh, with this team, and it's been confirmed there, De Benedetto could be out. Austin Singer is currently in the Team Penske stable. Wood Brothers right now is an affiliate organization of uh, Team Penske, and I still believe there's a good chance that De Benedetto probably won't get re-signed. There's a chance. Because he doesn't, it's not confirmed, but we'll have to see what happens there. But I think Austin Hendrick could go to the 21 because it is a Penske affiliate organization. Another driver's name, and this is another good possibility, is Bubba Walls. Bubba Walls is currently, I think he's also in a contract year with Richard Petty Motorsports. Now, they might likely re-sign with Richard Petty Motorsports, of course, probably as a partial owner of the organization. But there is a chance that he could re-sign there. The other possibilities and options is that you got Chip Ganassi Racing and also Hendrick Motorsports. Possibly going to Chip Ganassi because of the 42 team with McDonald's and possibly going to the 40 because of the comments Andrew Bremer said, and they would be really cool if Bubba would go to Hendrick Motorsports. That'd be really awesome to see, in my honest opinion. But I still think Bubba probably will re-sign with Rich, Richard Brady Motorsports, and they are really trying hard to re-sign Bubba at this moment because if they lose Bubba, they lose everything, Rich Payne Motorsports. They will pretty much lose everything be because he would lose. they would lose Cash App, Worldwide Technology, possibly even Coca-Cola would leave the organization, among other sponsors that are currently signed with Bubba. They would end up leaving, and Rich Payne Motorsports would be kind of scrambling for another driver possibly to look for. Of course, they probably do have drivers that have been in toss at an organization, possibly a paid driver like Brandon Jones, but we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, Tyler Reddick's name has been thrown around as a possible candidate for the 48 ride. 
I think there's a very good chance that he could go to that organization because that's been what I've been hearing. But that would be bad for uh, Richard Charles Racing because Tyler Reddick leaving this organization would be really bad because he's been honestly performing well. Not that Austin Dillon's been performing bad, but I think there's a good chance that, all, that Tyler Reddick could, in my opinion, end up going over to the 48 organization. The question I have right now is who do you... So the question you're probably asking is, who do you, who do I think is probably going to end up going to the 48 next year? If they don't, of course, cut down to a three-car team, because that has been rumored as well, that they could be cutting down to a three-car team. Most likely not. For me, I think at this moment, I'm going to say Eric Jones, due to the fact that Levine Family Racing is probably going to shut down to uh, their, turn, shut down their organization. I think there's a good chance that that could end up happening. And I think that Chris Rebo will end up going to the 20. That's what I think is going to happen. But now let's get back into talking about Brad Kozlowski re-signing with this organization. Brad, like I said, he's been putting up really, really good numbers this year. He's been very consistent. He's been kind of quiet. He's been up in the front a lot of these races. You know, he was he's not been as good as like Denny Hamlin or what Kevin Harvick has been this year. But I think that Brad Kozlowski has become a contender for the big three as well. He's become part of that group of drivers who could honestly win the championship. Right now, I still have him possibly... I think he's probably now going to end up making the Final Four just because he has so many playoff points now. And he's been doing exceptionally well this year. And Brad has just been an incredible part of his organization. He's been part of his team since 2010. He got Penske their first championship in 2012. You know, he's gotten multiple. He's never won a ton of 500, but he's won the Brickyard 400, the Southern 500, the Coke 600. You know, won 2018, won the Southern 500 in the uh, whatever the other race was. But yeah, Brad Kozlowski, in my opinion... He's a good driver. He's one of the best ever. Uh, he just tied Fabio Roberts on the all times win list to number 24 on that list of drivers. So he's just continuing to etch himself as a Hall of Famer. And he's been the most successful driver in Team Penske history up to this point, winning the most races for Team Penske in the NASCAR Cup Series and the Xfinity Series because you can count that as well. Brad's one of the best drivers out in the NASCAR field, always consistent, always putting up great numbers, not tearing up his cars. I think Brad Kozlowski next year will be, another once again, a championship contender, and it could be continue to be a championship contender for years to come. But then the future is, how long is Brad going to stay with this team? Is he kind of holding a place for Austin Sender? Because Austin Sender is the son of Tim Sender, who is the competition director at Team Penske. I think he's actually the president of Team Penske. So who really knows what's going to happen uh, with Brad Kozlowski in the future? Because honestly, Brad is, again, a great driver. I'm glad he's back in this organization because... He deserves it. I mean, I wanted him to go somewhere. If I didn't choose anywhere, I would like him to go to 48. But honestly, I'm very happy that Brad Kozlowski is going to be remaining in this organization. I'm I'm really happy for Brad. Brad deserves a lot more respect than he is given. A lot of people give him crap. And I used to give Brad Kozlowski a lot of crap, especially for some of the stuff in 2010 and 2009 with Carl Legers. Again, the incident with Carl in 2010, I thought that was pretty funny. He kind of turned Brad out. There was a little bit of contact. That was pretty funny. And then he kind of almost killed Brad Kozlowski in 2010 at Atlanta. I mean, I'm not going to give Carl the benefit of the doubt there. Carl actually just straight up dumped him, got into it because he had some contact and before that. In 2009 at Memphis, kind of turned Carl there. I mean, Carl, as a Carl Edwards fan, I kind of was mad at Brad. I also had issues with him in the past. But over the last few years, I've started to like Brad a lot. I think Brad, while he's not always right in the opinions he does say, I think a lot of things he does say are actually somewhat true. Like he's talked about in the past, you know, on how like drivers, certain drivers don't deserve to be in a series, certain drivers do to be need deserve to be in a series. Talks about he's not as been as big supportive of the car as well. I like Brad Kozlowski a lot more than I used to. Have. Brad, for me, used to be kind of on the lower tier drivers who I liked. Brad's kind of gone up almost in that top two tier of drivers because he's becoming a really good, well, he's a great driver. He's been great ever since. And I'm glad Brad's returning, and I'm happy Brad is re-signed with the organization for the next couple years. So, anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. So, anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you can notify when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links in the description below for that. And comment with your thoughts on today's video. What do you think about Brad Kozlowski re-signing to the two team? Let me know in the comments below. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.